guys what's good welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tracy and if this is your first time stopping by my channel please do not make it your last by clicking on the subscribe button if you end up liking this video but if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming back on my channel all right guys so today we are going to be talking on a very important topic which will be how to level up your feminine hygiene as a lady so um some of the tips i'm going to share i know you might have heard of it before or you might be practicing it before but this is more like a gentle reminder if you haven't started it you should or if you slack back a little you should get back to work because you know as a lady it's very important to keep yourself clean and healthy both in and out all right guys so without wasting much of your time let's just get right into this video so guys the first thing i'm going to be talking about today it's aura care how to take care of your mouth now guys this is a really serious business that's why it is the first on my list now you don't want to go out there having a stinky mouth because this is the first thing people notice about you simply because you are going to be exchanging pleasantry when you go out there and you don't want to start shying away from conversation simply because you know your mouth stinks now brushing your mouth at least twice a day it's like the standard that we all know so and um, most people when they brush their mouth they don't take their time to you know scrub their tongue you know brush like the inner of the, the inner tackles of their mouth they just you know go in there they, 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 and now they are out now you should take your time to brush your tongue because that's where most of the dirt lies the reason your mouth stink is because you don't wash your tongue very well you get so investing in a good mouthwash and a tongue scraper will help you as you can see i'm even running out of this one and they are not expensive i got this for this is not up to a thousand error and this is not up to two thousand so this is fair it's fair so you can invest in a good mouthwash and also a tongue scraper if you are someone that don't have all the time in the world to start brushing your mouth in the bathroom also there are um what's it called mouth spray that you can take along with you in your bag when you notice that you've been keeping quiet for a long time you can just you know spray it in your mouth so your mouth feel fresh and also if you can't afford those you can actually buy mint chewing gum that can help you as well but the most important thing is that you should learn and cultivate the habit of brushing your mouth at least twice in a day so another thing i'm going to talk about is you smelling nice yeah, I'm talking about using body spray, body roll-on, body mist and all that. Now this is not just applicable to ladies alone, I'm talking of general. Before you leave your house, make sure that you apply a roll-on or whatever scent you have. But as a lady, it's very important that you layer your scents. So you start by applying your body mists immediately you come back from the bathroom. So that should be like your base for every other product you are going to, every other scent product you are going to apply on your body. Because it's very important that as a lady you should have your own you know signature scent that when you enter a certain place most people will know that yes this person just left this place i know this scent i know this person by this scent you get so roll on and perfume are very cheap in the market now i'm not saying that you guys should go and buy right guard because this is the one i use i'm not saying you should go and buy right guard there are other varieties in the market we have nivea we have um the stick roll on we have so many of them but what i'm trying to say is that try to use this when you leave your house i know that you bait well i'm not saying that you guys are not baiting well. i know that you bait well but it is very important to use this so to prevent you from smelling of sweat and other you know kind of gunk from your body and also still pity people that are outside you get you don't have to leave your house and let people know that you are the poorest person but this smell nice so you should check it out if you don't like this one there are others you can use and also you can still invest in good perfume now this is the one i use yeah this i got this for fifteen thousand naira. i'm not saying you should go and buy this the other cheap one that you can also invest in but the point here is that you should try and smell good all the time you get try and smell good try and brush your teeth try and just keep clean as a lady or as anybody this is like i said this perfume part is not just for you ladies it's for everybody so guys another way to level up your feminine hygiene is by taking your bath at least twice on a daily now this is not a negotiation this is a must at least twice a day you should take your bath you can take your bath as many times as you want in a day but the standard recommendation is for you to take your bath at least twice in a day this is because 
you build up dead cells and you know you sweat every day you go out even if you are not going out even if you are home at least you sweat you are a human being so i think taking your bath at least twice is recommended you get so that you can you know wash off those bacteria those gunk in your body and then you feel fresh mostly as a lady it's very important that you you know take your bath so you can you know clean your armpits very well and also your cushy so you wash it very very well so it does not smell or you know uh what's it called so it does not smell or like have any bad odor so taking your bath at least twice in a day is very necessary okay another way to level up your feminine hygiene is to invest in a good body scrub we all know that this is not even a negotiation because it is a must in our shower routine not only does it help to exfoliate your skin and remove dead cells it also helps most of the products that you are using to you know work very well so for those of you that are complaining that the product i bought is not working this um, cleanser i bought is not working this cream i bought is not working i think probably the reason it's not working is because you are not using a good exfoliator which is a scrub you are not using a good scrub now you should use a scrub two to three times in a week because yeah why not and this is the one i'm using as you can see i'm almost running out look at my skin you can tell so using a good body scrub can help elevate your skin from zero to euro so guys and there are cheap ones in the market i got this for 2000 2015 era or thereabouts but yeah i know there are others that are lesser than this so you can as well invest in a good body scrub to you know elevate the texture of your skin also for those of you that have them um, strawberry legs and strawberry arms this is also a good product or a good start for your journey of recovery so investing in a good body scrub will also help to elevate your feminine hygiene yeah so guys the next tip i'm going to be talking about is changing of our underwears now ladies can we cultivate the habit of exploring our underwear wardrobe I know we don't give too much importance or talk more about this, talk much about this, like we, you know, talk about buying new clothes, new set of shoes and all that, but I think it is very important. And the ideal time for you to change your panties and all that is three months. After that, you should know you are due for a new set because then they need fresh hair. And um, when buying an underwear, you shouldn't buy those ones, those tight ones. You should buy like... Um, a free cutting pant or like um, a net set a lace pant yeah a lace pant that's what's called buy a lace pant so that hair can go in and out of your cushy that way you know you are safe you know and that way you have confidence in yourself that yeah i'm smelling fresh i feel fresh and all that you get so changing of your wardrobe is also as essential as taking care of your body so we should try as much as possible to try and sh to change our on this as regularly as possible so guys the last on my list is investing in a good skincare now it does not have to be a very expensive set you can start with just a simple face wash and I'm using the CeraVe um, what they call CeraVe SA soothing cleanser and this is because I have a very bumpy and rough acne prone skin but there are other products in the market that you can buy if you cannot afford to the CeraVe and this is because the skin on your face is not the same with your body so you cannot go ahead be, and be using the soap you are using on your face uh, on your body on your face you might break out and you know have some irritation skin irritation on your skin and also you should not be using the same towel you are using um, on your body for your face and this is because your body and your face like i said they don't have the same texture and all that so you should try to buy like a tissue pad there's um what's it called the one i use let me bring show you guys the one i use so this is what i used to clean my face when i come out from the bathroom i think because it's, it is easy to use and easy to dispose and it's very thick it's very thick so i just fold it like this and then i just use it to dab my face before applying any of my skincare products so guys um i think with this tip i i've come to the end of this video i hope this helps someone that day i know there are still more of it i might do like a part two of this video but for now guys this is all i have to say i'll see you guys in my next video and please don't forget to 
like and subscribe like i said if you end up liking this video i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye